Hello and welcome back. This is Peter Godinus. Today's lecture is going to cover the new sales professional mindsets that you will need to be successful in the new sales normal. Let's talk about the word mindset for just a minute. So when you look up the definition of mindsets, it's a set of attitudes that one holds to be true. So when I look further into attitudes, it talks more about behaviors. And that's kind of like what I want to go down. A mindset is a behavior, how we act, act out during the day in all our different circumstances. So why is mindset so important? Well, it's the basis of everything we do on a moment by moment basis. It's the decisions, it's the choices that we make uh, in a day in our sales activity, as well as our personal lives. It's our thought process. It's the actions that we choose to take. So I know that's a lot of theory, but I think it's really important to discuss what a mindset is. And maybe you know it already, but I thought it might be well worth just reviewing it real quickly. So I want to have some fun and tell you the top 10 sales mindset. I believe that me, you and everybody else who is in sales needs to grab onto starting with number 10. It's important to know exactly what your product and services do and how they impact your client and your future clients. You should be able to clearly articulate and believe and feel this impact, but better yet, your client should be willing to broadcast this impact to the rest of the world. Number nine, celebrate when your client actually experiences the benefit in the impact of your product and your services. There's a tendency in sales to get excited when the deal is signed or when you get paid that commission. That's okay, but you got to do something special for the client, either in some type of action, words, uh, celebrating the success they're having with your product and services. So that's a mindset that I think is real important to have in this new sales normal. Number eight. It is real important to treat the person you are presently with at that time like they're the most important person in the world. This is especially true for people who you have not met the first time and are wanting to do business with. Number seven. Believe that failure is a part of the process of success. I know that's hard, and sometimes you have to have a positive self-talk reminding you of the reality of this particular situation. Having positive self-talk reminders is really helpful in this transformation. Also, encouraging others in your circle of influence has a tendency to help you as well. Number six. You need to be specific as to who you're going to do business with. The old saying goes that if you're selling to everybody, you're selling to no one. So that's why it's real important that you connect with marketing, because who you're trying to sell to specifically will make your life a lot easier. Number five. Supplement your sales activity persistency with smart automated technology. And what I mean by that is the traditional salesperson prides themselves in being persistent, being organized, and being able to follow up with people on a timely basis, either in a phone call, a personal visit, or an email. Well, why don't you have technology help you do this? And I think it's real important in this new sales number to understand the technology you have available to help you be successful. You will be very wise to first understand how automated technology works and immediately implement it with yourself and your team. 
instead of trying to remember when to follow up, when to call, when to visit, when to send an email, and it's all fine. Organization is real important in sales, but why not set something up where the technology is following up in a creative way? Number four. Win an Academy Award for the most friendly disposition. It's easy to be friendly when circumstances are ideal and customers are responding in a favorable way. But when things are just not going your way and people are not treating you the way you would like to treat them to, sometimes you have to act. And acting out that friendly disposition with kind words and responses and body language really will help you win that Academy Award. And the winner is number three. Be aware your body language, your facial expression, your voice reflection are a powerful force. Making a conscious effort to be aware of small gestures in your face, your eyes, your posture, your hands, and your voice. These are very powerful, more than you know. An example I'd like to share with you is when somebody makes a statement to be able to give them good eye contact, nod your head, and kindly say, really? I guarantee you, People will appreciate that and they'll respond and they'll talk and they'll open themselves up to you. Okay, we're getting to the last two. So number two, listen more than you talk. I know you hear that a lot and every seminar and course you probably take said good salespeople are good listeners. I know this is a no brainer and you hear it all the time, but traditional salespeople including myself, like to talk. Listening is simple. All you've got to do is be quiet. But when you speak and say something, that's the more complex action. I have found being the talkative type that focusing on asking questions and keeping my statements short and clear is the best thing I can do. Finally, drum roll, please. Number one, understand that buyers are very well researched. They do their research on your company, on your product and services, and also you. So this is a new environment you need to prepare for and making sure that your company, you, are actually producing good content because people are looking. I think long gone are the days of salespeople pursuing people who are not well researched and just making a decision out of a just quick, quick whim. So with that, make sure you have things that people can find about your company, product and services on you on the various channels of distribution of advertisement and social media. So I know that's a lot of talk. But I've provided some exercises and articles that you can read further in this. I think the next step is just to go ahead and do small little things on these uh, 10 suggestions that I'm making to you. With that, these are the sales mindsets I hope you would consider implementing right away. So you take care and look forward to seeing you in the next lecture.